Some major milestones this week with a vote in Rhode Island and hearings in Colorado. A setback in Virginia, but polling shows that the state may soon turn around. Plus, support from an unexpected source in an unexpected state. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for January 21st, 2013. It's going to be another busy week for marriage equality with a committee vote slated for Tuesday in Rhode Island. The House Judiciary Committee heard testimony on the bill last week. This first vote is an early test of our renewed momentum in the state, and a full House vote has been promised within the next two weeks. Passage in the House appears likely, but it's far from certain in the Senate. Visit riunitedformarriage.org for more information about the vote and for ways that you can help, no matter where you are. We're also expecting a Tuesday hearing in Colorado. The Senate Judiciary Committee will hear testimony on Senate Bill 11, which would legalize civil unions in the state. Sponsors are hoping to get the bill on the governor's desk by mid-February, but additional obstacles may remain. Visit one-colorado.org for more information on the campaign for civil unions. Meanwhile, in Illinois, support is growing for a marriage equality bill. Major employers, including Google, Orbitz, Groupon, and Cubs co-owner Laura Ricketts, have signed a letter urging lawmakers to pass the bill. Legislators are likely to take up the measure sometime after early February. And there's some good news from an unexpected source, Republicans in Wyoming. Democratic lawmakers introduced marriage and civil unions bills, and now Republican Representative Keith Gingery supports the marriage bill, with Republican Representative Ruth Ann Petroff supporting the civil unions bill. Both measures are long shots, but it's an encouraging bipartisan support. And there's some disappointment in Virginia, where Delegate Scott Surivel's attempt to overturn a marriage ban has failed in committee. The good news is that polling has steadily improved in the state. Two years ago, marriage equality had just 34% support. By June of 2012, that had improved to 42%. And finally this week, the price of marriage discrimination has gone up yet again. Congressional Republicans have authorized nearly $3 million for the defense of DOMA. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments in the DOMA and Prop 8 cases in late March. We'll have breaking news from those cases, as well as developments from around the states, in the coming weeks. Subscribe here on YouTube, at AFER on Twitter, and at Facebook at facebook.com slash American Equal Rights. You can also pledge your support at AFER.org and sign up for breaking email alerts. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.